Hello everyone. It's been a while since I did my Matthew V 216.88 talk series. This time, this is episode number 15. And this time I'll be discussing the Lights main event from Atlanta. Only one word can describe it. Unbelievable. You didn't know what was going to happen. Dean Wilson gets the whole shot. Leads about 8 of the 15 laps scheduled. Only to have, only to lose the lead to Austin Stroop, and then his teammate Christoph Purcell. But what was a big surprise was to see Purcell dropping from first all the way back to as, much, as far back as fourth. I believe fourth was the worst position that he was in. And uh, I tell you that race, it's like really hard to like not right about it because that was one of the best races I'd ever seen. It looked like Stroop was going to be the one to stop the the crafty Frenchman, Christophe Purcell, before a silly crash after the finish line jump. And, uh... That's all it took and Purcell came back and won the race. But the big disappointment I'd have to say is Justin Barsha. He was running up in the top three, pretty much, pretty, the top three, top five, pretty much the whole race, up until two laps, up until with two laps remaining, he makes a silly mis, he just comes up short, a, a tad short on one jump, tries to triple in the corner, comes up way short and goes down. And as a result, Barsha went from second all the way to last place. Too bad for Justin, but I have a feeling we'll be seeing him on the top spot sometime soon. But, you know, Christoph Purcell, is, when you count those last three uh, races that he's won in the East Series, that's five consecutive wins. When you count the uh, shootout and the last two races of the season that he won. Can't remember what they were. I know one of them was Detroit. He also won the shootout as mentioned. But, I gotta say, Christoph Purcell, he looks like he's back to normal. Especially after sustaining a collarbone injury. I have to say, Christoph was definitely impressive. He actually proved two things tonight, that night. One, he can win even when he's not, even when things don't look very good. And two, he's He's aggressive. I thought he was just going to get out front and then just like check out. But nope, his teammate Dean Wilson got the whole shot. And I got to say, I really hope we see Dean Wilson on the podium. Because in like the 30 plus years that we've, that the Supercross season has been going on, 36 years, I have not seen, I don't think we've had a Canadian on top of the box in a Supercross race. And I'm talking about both classes. Because the last rider that I remember doing that good is Darcy Lange a couple years ago in 2007. Three years ago in 2007 when he finished in uh, second in Atlanta to, to Dungy. But honestly, I hope we see a Canadian at the top. Last, But uh, the last Canadian that I remember who did well in a Supercross race, has got to be John Sebastian Waugh when he had a, a 10th place at the Vegas Finale in 01. And, you know, it, it's been a long time since uh, an international rider has won in the lights. No, not a long time, but... Uh, I should say, but it's it'd be nice to have someone north of the border win the race. Win a race in the Supercross. I don't know if Dean Wilson's going to be racing outdoors. I like to think he will be. But I gotta say, I really hope you have a Canadian at the top of the on the top of the box before the Supercross season in the Lights East is over. But I got to say, I'm really looking forward to that next round of Daytona. Well, we'll go ahead and, and I'll go ahead and say goodbye now. And, uh, and I'll
And I'll be back for episode 16, which I will discuss the Atlanta Supercross main event. See you guys soon.